So then, over the years there's been a few attempts to turn um, Android into a PC operating system. There's been many, many, many attempts to do this. Some of them more successful than others. You know, we had your Android 86 and all that sort of thing. Well, today I'm going to show you possibly the most impressive of these Android PC operating systems, Remix OS. I'm going to be taking a look at that right now on Linux Lounge. So first things first, you get kind of a setup, and I did not mean to press that, but um, yeah, you get kind of a setup to begin with. Hang on, let's see. Just change the setting. Hang on. Right here we go. Um, first off, you have a setup, of course. Rather nice looking setup as well. Pretty standard, uh, pretty standard of Android. Um, we can skip that because we're connected to Ethernet. And this is also a virtual machine. Now the reason I decided to show you the setup is because there's this rather nifty sort of, um, well, app suggestion page. It'll um, suggest a few apps you can go with, which is quite cool. Now of course I'm going to deselect all of these because I'm not interested in any of them. We'll just click next. And you know we get all these categories, you know we've got useful, you know we've got I'm not quite sure why you'd recommend a flashlight app for a um, PC operating system, but okay. You know we've got your Amazon, you have your Kindle, all that lot. We've got some entertainment, which is mostly games. And we're once again going to deselect all of these. Click next once again. And of course no app selected. We've also got an option upon install to activate Google Play. Now one thing to note about this operating system is there's no way to officially install this operating system. There's a way to unofficially do it by entering in some text on the boot screen. Uh, it's hard for life for me to remember what it was. It was on some old forum post on the Remix OS thing. If I can find it, I will put it up on screen. If not, I won't. Um, now, like I say, unlike most Android PC operating systems, this one actually has its own sort of interface. And upon first look, I hate to draw comparisons, but kind of looks like Windows 10, I guess. I mean, you know. The taskbar looks quite similar. Out of the box, it looks very nice. Quite a nice wallpaper there. You can, of course, just go ahead and click change wallpaper should you want to change that. Um, that's pretty great. Uh, I'm not too bothered with that. I'm not quite sure what that is, but sure, let's set that as a wallpaper. So it'll work. Yes, indeed, it does work. Not very well, but it works. Not even sure what that is. Now I can't really make out those icons. Well, that was a poor decision. Um, point being, you've got your Android buttons here, which do all the usual Android stuff. You know, your home button, your back button. You've got your start menu over here, which is kind of like the Android app drawer. Um, don't know why there's Chinese text up here. Fair enough. Um, and you've got a few apps and that. Interestingly enough, it's actually a terminal. Um, yeah, sure. Wonder if it actually acts like. Hmm. Um, so you probably have to install some odds and ends to work, but point being up here, you can see you've got the full screen option, which is bringing it all in full screen. Um, of course, not hiding that, but I'm sure there's an option for that. And of course you have the uh, back button, should you want to do that, which is pretty good. Because Android x86, it was literally just Android on your PC. Here, it's a full PC operating system based on Android. Um, you've of course got your App Store, which is kind of the Remix OS App Store. I've looked and some of the most popular apps are indeed here. I may as well just show you. Now, although this is kind of like a um, PC operating system, some of these hmm, apps do kind of feel like they are mobile apps that are just put in a desktop interface. But, I suppose, unless there's some major change to Android, that's not really going to change. 
You got your download, you got Facebook pre-installed for some reason. The gaming toolkit, which as I understand it, um, will let you play mobile games in theory. I don't really know because I've never really got it working nor understand how it works. Um, you've got Facebook Messenger out of the box, which most people will use, so good on my guess. MX Player, which is kind of video player. Quite a good one as well, I believe it's cross platform. And apparently, we have a movie pre installed. Let's have a look. That's the route to the last video. Yeah, it plays it full screen. Oh, hang on. Maybe we have figured out what this gaming thing does. Indeed, we have. So, presumably, you drag this over your on screen buttons, and it will, in theory, let you play phone games, I guess. Huh. You can add your own button. I, that's quite cool. So if you downloaded a game that was designed to play on touch screens, you can actually add those over the top. And you'd be able to play it on your PC. So you know if you download the mobile version of GTA or some other game like that, well, you can play it on Remix OS. Hmm. It's nifty. Um, you click Play Store, obviously. You quick pick your uh, Remix Central, which I believe just tells you what apps there are available. Whether or not that will load, I don't know. Got a system update, which, like I said, if you installed it um, in the way I suggested, you can, in fact, do that. Um, yeah, it's all the suggested apps, all your usual stuff. You know, your YouTube, your Spotify, Popcorn Time, even, which was. I didn't even know if that was still around, but it's some sort of service where you can pirate movies and that kind of thing, streaming them online. So I guess if you want that sort of thing, it's right there. Um, interestingly enough, it's kind of a file manager. Now I poked around with this, it's uh, relatively standard I suppose, you can download files. Um, sort of view them in there. Nothing fancy, but it's pretty good. And you've got Chrome, which interestingly enough, kind of looks like the desktop version of Chrome. Kind of. You know, you can go to a site, um, you know, one of the ways to get Remix OS besides installing on your main PC is to get one of these Remix OS PCs. Can't tell you how good those are, but um, it's an option, I suppose. Um, now, I mentioned earlier that Chrome looks like a desktop app, and I believe there's a few other apps that look that way. Um, or at least a borderline compatible with this sort of stuff. I mean, we pretty much everything is, but some apps are better than others. I believe Microsoft Office works like that. I believe. Um, you know what, actually? I'm going to go ahead and download Microsoft Word right now and see if it'll work properly. Right, here you go. Indeed, Microsoft Office works and pretty much looks kind of like something you'd use on a PC. Now I hate Microsoft Office, so this means almost nothing to me, but, you know, you click on your file and it kind of looks like Office on your PC. So obviously running Android um, like this does have its apps that will work absolutely perfectly. That didn't quite work like plan, but um, yeah. So there's no shortage of apps, of course. Um, and depending on what you do with your computer, by installing Android, you might not be missing out on a whole lot. And in fact, you could have a lot to gain to run your stuff like, you know, all your social media apps and that, the same as you would on, um, well, a phone. It's also incredibly easy to use as well. So that could have its advantages too. And I tell you what, the number one thing that I can see this being an alternative to is probably Chrome OS. And I must say, this is a far better solution for a cloud-based OS. And quite frankly, it's pretty good. I also forgot to say, you can use a lot of PC shortcuts as well with this. Now all they really need to do is they need to make it easier to um, actually install this on a physical PC. It hasn't shipped with it already. And I tell you what, once you've got that down, this will be a pretty good solution for um, 
desktop computing, computing if what you do is pretty basic. Well, that's my opinions on Remix OS, all in all. Probably one of the best Android on PC solutions I've ever seen, and is most certainly worth a look, if you haven't already had a look. And thanks for watching, please subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next video.